Six minutes ago, Elon Musk's terrifying message about CERN. Elon Musk declared that CERN was becoming demonically possessed back in February. This is certainly a change of tune. So, what's happened that Elon Musk has changed his mind? The Large Hadron Collider, LHC, at CERN is the world's huge and most powerful particle accelerator. CERN researchers have claimed that they've achieved highly favorable results in several areas of particle physics, including the X particles. At this point, there was a lot of excitement about the Large Hadron Collider. However, some people expressed concerns about the scientific research that was evolving from it. The Large Hadron Collider is as accurate as ever. Huh? That's what you're probably thinking, and that's okay. Many people need clarification on this, so I'll explain it. Is Elon Musk correct in calling it demonic technology? But before starting the video, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get all the latest updates. We'll make more videos on interesting topics, so if you want to watch them, subscribe to them. Now, let's get started. This time, Tesla founder and CEO Elon Musk aimed the Large Hadron Collider located at CERN. At this point, none of us ought to be surprised that he's returned and is now tweeting out an image in which he refers to the Large Hadron Collider at CERN as demonic technology. The European Organization for Nuclear Research, CERN, is a facility that studies particles. It lies in the vicinity of Geneva, in Switzerland. When you read an article in the news about odd new subatomic particles, the likelihood is that they were discovered at CERN. According to MIT News, CERN researchers reported evidence of X particles in the quark gluon plasma created by the Large Hadron Collider, LHC, in January 2022. Information on the LHC that has already been acquired was utilized in that study. It took roughly 10 years and about 4,322 MCHF to construct the Large Hadron Collider. Studies at CERN have found that the entire mass of the universe may be reduced to just 5% by adding up all the stars, planets and galaxies. Elon Musk may play a part in realizing an ambitious new plan designed by scientists to uncover the mysteries of the cosmos. On Twitter, Tesla's chief executive officer Elon Musk broke the news, revealing that he'd been approached by the international research organization CERN in 2019. The director general of CERN, Fabiola Giannotti, had a meeting with him regarding the potential of his tunneling firm, constructing tunnels for a new particle accelerator that would be four times larger than the one that's now in use. Elon Musk's boring firm is an infrastructure company primarily based on constructing new tunnels to decrease traffic congestion. The massive Hadron Collider is located in Switzerland and stretches for 27 kilometers, just under 17 miles. The FCC is four times as large as the LHC. A spokesperson for CERN confirmed in July 2019 that director Fabiola Giannotti did meet Elon Musk at the Royal Society. When asked about plans for more giant accelerators, the CERN spokesman stated, Given these plans, CERN is always open to new, cost-effective technologies that could lead to their execution, including the tunnels that will be required. The FCC's plans are still in the discussion phase. That was made by the representative for the organization. When the Large Hadron Collider eventually stops operating, Sometime between 2035 and 2040, CERN is giving serious consideration to constructing a larger collider to take its place. Given the time required to complete such initiatives, a choice must be made within the next few years. The Large Hadron Collider was turned back on by CERN on July 6th, and Elon tweeted the picture precisely six weeks and six hours after the LHC was turned back on. In Elon's tweet, a photo with text read, Please grant me access to the Large Hadron Collider at CERN. I am average, and you can put your faith in me to handle a diabolical technology unlike anything the world has ever seen. A minority of people only supported Musk's perspective, and many users made fun of him. The particle accelerator at CERN is not powerful enough to produce a cosmic black hole. The machine will not bring about a change in either time or space. Researchers are using the gadget to investigate how the universe's particles interact with one another. However, there needs to be a solution to the question of what's happening at CERN at this very moment. The probability that the Large Hadron Collider would create something that would bring about the world's end, such as a black hole. A statement like the one below was published on CERN's website. The creation of black holes at the Large Hadron Collider is highly impossible. Black holes on a small scale are thought impossible to create. However, some theories imply otherwise. Seeing such a phenomenon would be thrilling for our cosmic knowledge and it would be very safe to do so. There must be at least one more special dimension beyond the three we know to be present in our four-dimensional space-time in the observable universe. Such dimensions may exist on more minor scales than those we have explored, which correlate to more energy, but we can't reach them at the energies we've looked at so far. 
If there are more dimensions, it's theoretically possible to generate tiny black holes on a minuscule scale. According to Einstein's general theory of relativity, the effect that we call gravity results from mass and energy distorting space and time, also known as space-time. The end effect is that the thing transforms into a black hole. When two particles collide with energy more significant than a fundamental limit known as the Planck energy, they can produce a small black hole in this manner. When stars significantly more massive than our sun reach the end of their lives, they collapse, generating black holes in space. They pack a tremendous quantity of subject matter into a relatively small space. They have such a high density that the gravity they produce prevents even light from escaping from within them. Theorizing about black holes at the LHC refers to particles that are generated when protons collide with one another. These are tiny black holes, also called quantum black holes, occasionally. There is skepticism within scientific communities over the existence of quantum black holes. The physical component of the LHC experiments, known as the collision of particles, happens all the time in nature. Cosmic rays continuously strike the Earth. When cosmic rays strike the atmosphere, particles clash in a manner comparable to the collisions at the LHC. We're aware that the Earth isn't in danger from the onslaught of natural cosmic rays, and we're also aware that there is no danger to the Earth from artificially simulating these collisions. The collisions that occur in nature have an energy level that is noticeably higher than that of the LHC. CERN claims that developing a quantum black hole at the LHC would be surprising and exciting. It would help physicists figure out gravity, the most mysterious force in the universe. If a black hole were to emerge at the LHC, it would lend credence to the idea that there are more than four dimensions to our universe. This is a fantastic philosophical conclusion. In the same way that the advent of the theory of relativity and quantum physics radically shifted our perspective on the cosmos, the discovery of extra dimensions would mark a significant new milestone in our knowledge of the universe. There needs to be an explicit use of this knowledge. It's easy to draw parallels to the Phoenicians, but had no idea how much they would change our life and their discovery of electricity and magnetism. Researchers base their forecast on the hoop conjecture, a rule of thumb that predicts how much an object of a specific mass must be crushed to generate a black hole. According to Chopwick, a 1970s calculation demonstrated a particle collision could form a black hole, but it viewed the particles as black holes and may have been distorted. Chopwick and Franz Pretorius of Princeton University have simulated such collisions using general relativity's complicated arithmetic. Chopwick and Pretorius calculated the gravitational interactions between colliding particles using hundreds of computers. They found that a black hole forms if the two particles collide with a total energy of about one-third of the Planck energy, which is lower than the energy predicted by the Hoop conjecture. Do these findings suggest that black holes can be created at the LHC? Chopwick argues that it's only sometimes the case. The Planck energy is a quintillion times more than the LHC's maximum. Therefore, the only way the LHC might create black holes is if space is more complicated than just three dimensions. Those extra dimensions are twisted into little loops too small to detect except in high-energy particle collisions. The Planck energy is thought to be drastically reduced by such dimensions. The development of black holes at the accelerator would very startle Chopwick, he claims. As far as physicists are concerned, such a black hole would eventually harmlessly disintegrate into standard particles. So, that's all for today's video. If you like this video, click the like and the bell buttons. We'll have another video for you soon. Take care, until then.